Hello, I'm Paul Mackey. I'm a captain for American Airlines, currently a line pilot based out of Dallas-Fort Worth with over 10,000 hours of flying there. I also retired for the United States Air Force and the Oklahoma Air National Guard after flying for 25 years with airplanes such as the F-16, F-111, A-7, and T-38. And finally, I'm a general aviation enthusiast and I've gotten into Warbirds. This is an AT-6 behind me. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about pre-flight inspection and how you can lower your risk of a serious accident or incident by knowing your airplane thoroughly. Over 25% of the general aviation accidents that we've looked at over the past have occurred because of poor maintenance procedures and inspections. As the owner or operator, generally the operator in this case, you're the final line of defense against improper maintenance and inspections. As a captain for American Airlines, I'm responsible for the accomplishment of a thorough pre-flight inspection on every aircraft I fly. That includes uh, many procedures done by the first officer and many done by maintenance. As an operator of my own aircraft, I'm also responsible for a thorough pre-flight. It actually starts before I get to the airplane. For example, I knew how much oil I had left in the oil reservoir when I shut down last time. It was just a little bit over five gallons marked on the dipstick. And it's still just a little bit over five gallons marked on the dipstick. The reason that's important is it alerts me to any leaks that I might have through the crankcase or something like that, or excessive blow-by in the combustion chambers. Whether you own, beg, borrow, buy, or steal an airplane, as the pilot in command, you're the final authority on whether or not it should fly. It's a really good idea, and it's actually required by the FARs to know all the airworthiness directives that apply to your particular airplane. On this airplane, there's one that was from 1978 regarding cylinder head cracks. And if you read the airworthiness directive as a pilot, not necessarily an inspector, you can still do a pretty good job on a pre-flight detecting any kind of exhaust gas blow-by that may have occurred through a cylinder head crack. So as I do a pre-flight, I'll look at each of the cylinders near the exhaust valve and see if I can find some exhaust gas staining. If I do, then I know that more investigation needs to be done. As part of the decision to whether or not you're going to fly an airplane, you should know who's been performing the maintenance and inspection procedures on it. You should know if they're properly certified and if they're properly trained. And you should know if they're using appropriate data. Now I know as a, just a pilot, you're not expected to have an inspection authorization capability. But as a pilot, you can read the information they use and get a general idea if it's being complied with properly. Combining all this information you've learned into a safe pre-flight is the objective of the Safety is No Accident program sponsored by the FAA. The more you know, the more knowledge you have about the technical data that applies to your airplane, the more thorough pre-flights you can do and the safer machine you'll take into the air. The right tank fuel is clean and dry. One of your homework assignments before pre-flight is know who's worked on your airplane. Are they properly qualified? Are they an a and Are they an a and with inspector authorization? And did they follow the right tech data? And if they have the right tech data to follow, it's pretty simple for them to give you a copy of it. You can read this as an operator, and even though you may not understand some of the nuances of the technical part they're applying, you can understand what they're looking for in a general sense, and you can apply that to your pre-flight. Fuel quantity matches the gauge and the cap's locked back in place. The Safety is No Accident program is another tool you can add to your toolbox to ensure a safer pre-flight and your ability to properly decide whether or not to take an airplane flying. Tail wheel and the tail wheel strut assembly inspects good. The Safety Is No Accident video series is another tool you can put in your box to ensure a proper and thorough pre-flight. That way your decision to take an airworthy aircraft into the sky is the right one. 
Also, we'd like to be, give a big thanks to Randy Harris for his time and effort to complete the Safety is No Accident video series.